Hello everyone and welcome to an update video. So everyone by now knows about the uh, crazy coin situation going on with the uh, anniversary update. So they basically, you know, added two new appends, but no way to get more coins or, you know, anything like that. So we're just now needing more copies for servants, which is making everyone mad, in including myself, I'm not gonna lie. It's not a good situation. Do love the appends though. But I hate the coin situation. But yeah, it was such a big of a deal that even the Japanese players, everyone who's playing JP was up in arms about it on Twitter, forums, you name it. So obviously the developers caught wine of this and they actually addressed it already less than 24 hours later or precisely actually literally 24 hours later i guess and this is a letter from the director himself mr kano yoshiki the son our lord and savior he himself wrote this in the a new section of the game on the website they're addressing it and this is a doozy so we're gonna cover all of this right now and see what has changed, what they do, etc. Uh, yeah, it's a bunch of stuff. So first of all, they're basically just apologizing um, about the, uh, you know, how the situation was handled and uh, based on the reaction. So it's usual PR stuff at the start, you know, just saying, oh, we're sorry uh, that this was not intended and whatnot. I mean, I, honestly, I don't think they were expecting this kind of a backlash. So yeah, makes sense. But they kind of should have seen it coming, honestly. Now, let's see. What are they doing to address this? This is the important stuff. So first of all, they're going to add a function that will let you switch between unlocked appends, okay? So what this means is that if you have an append open, you can now choose to close it and unlock another append that is not open, okay? And if you have any levels on it, it will copy the levels from the previous one into the newly unlocked one. And what happens to the one that you switch from, it will get locked and also reverted back to level one. So if you ever want to unlock it again later, you will have to level it up again. But again, good thing that your level still transfer to the new one. So no materials or QP will be basically lost with this. So that's the first thing they're going to add, being able to change appends, okay? All right, everybody's still with me on this. Now, uh, I previously mentioned the thing as well, that a lot of people actually burned a lot of their coins for Grail casting. Uh, no, because, you know, we couldn't have known there might have been more uses for them in the future, because they never talked about any of this, so it was kind of unfair. Especially if you had a perfect servant, where, you know, after you have level 120 and all three appends unlocked, the game literally recommends you to burn the coins, so how could you have known? So now what they're going to do is that every single servant coin used prior to yesterday before this update went live will be refunded and i believe this goes back all the way to the, when they introduced grail casting okay so this means you're gonna get thousands and thousands of coins now they're not universal coins of course they're just going to be refunds of the coins you spent so for 99 percent of people they will be coins of low rarity servants of course but it's still nice because now you you're, you can probably just use them again on grail casting let's be real because you probably have enough for the appends uh the new ones anyway but yeah you will be getting all of that back and of course this includes you know every servant of every rarity if you even used gold servant coins you will get those back from the casting as well so now now we didn't get punished for not, you know, predicting the future, which is nice and fair, of course. Now, this there's an, one thing in this that's a bit unclear for now as well. They seem to be implying that all of the grails would be given out as well, I guess? So, so you might be getting a ton of free grails from this as well. But this, this line is a bit unclear, so don't quote me on that yet. We have to get a bit of clarification as well. And I believe this if this Grail refund thingy might not even happen immediately. They're saying it might take even months for all of this to, you know, work out and them to figure it out. So that's fine, I think. I don't think anyone... Well, someone might need Grails immediately, but they're basically, you know, free bonus ones anyway. They're not really something you got scammed out of. So I feel like giving them a bit of time to do that is, you know, I guess fair. And also, I guess as a sort of a bonus apology, everyone will be getting 120 Saint Course. And I, I believe this is given to every single player of JP. Whether you ever used coins or not, doesn't matter. Not, you will still get 120 quarts. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's clearly a band-aid, of course, but I'm surprised they even gave out four multis, because they've been pretty stingy about, you know, giving freebies away. So you can tell they were shook by this. They're really trying to patch things up, okay? So that's basically the gist of the letter. 
uh, being able to swap appends and then getting refunds from coins and potentially grails as well that were used in casting. Those are the two big takeaways from this. Uh, oh, and of course, the bonus quartz. So what do I think about this? I think it's, uh, first of all, love that they responded super fast. That's great. Their PR team is clearly, you know, full of people that kind of know what they're doing. So big ups for the very fast response. Very cool. That's amazing. I like that they're doing something about it as well. At least now we can, you know, sw get appends that were probably better than append threes because append threes always basically suck. And, uh, and append one tends to not be great compared to like cooldown reduction either. So that's cool. But the elephant in the room is still the fact that coins and coin gains and the amount that you need to perfect the servant, all of that remains unaffected. So this will still not make everyone happy, including myself, I'm not gonna lie. I'm still not super happy with this. I mean, I am happy that we're getting something and they responded fast, of course, like I was just saying, but the problem is you still need a minimum of MP8 to fully max and perfect a SSR servant, which is way too much way 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 too much even honestly i was hoping they when they would address this at some point and they did so fast that they would also address the mp6 situation because that was already kind of dumb that you would need to pull more than mp5 of an, the rarest rarity in the game for a servant to even get their perfect copies that was already kind of stupid so to them not even tackle the new stuff i don't know man i don't know i'm happy but i'm also still disappointed you know that's that's how that's my first impression of this like you know less than an hour later of reading through this letter it, i'm really hoping there's going to be more stuff addressed about this they it's clearly still not an ideal situation for the players in fact this will probably lose the money as well because pre previously people may have been inclined to roll for that mp6 you know which is already kind of stupid which meant they had to spend more probably just to be able to perfect their favorite uh, you know five star servants but now, people will not be rolling for MP6 anymore, because that won't be enough for a perfect servant. So chances are they will go for MP5 at most. So they should be aware of this, that this, if they don't touch it, it will clearly cost them money as well. People will be spending less, that's a guarantee. I know a lot of my whale friends already are saying they will not bother even with MP6 anymore, because they will not be getting that perfect copy. And I'm kind of on the same boat, I'm not gonna lie. It stinks, because I on NA, my main server, I have a lot of my servants, uh, my favorites at a quote-unquote perfect copy regarding coins so it is really tilting i'm not gonna lie and yeah now free free to play players can laugh at haha whales getting shafted but this will affect everyone keep that in mind so while you might you know laugh at the you know us stupid spenders that you know w spend so much to perfect our favorites this could affect you as well just so keep that in mind okay so i don't know there's an update video i guess um it's it's a, it's a step in the right direction it is a Far from an ideal solution, but it is a good step in the right direction, okay? So there you go. I'm just going to wrap this video there. I'm not even going to do an outro or anything, so enjoy. Um, let's just hope they keep addressing this, keep doing more stuff, and um, yeah, let's... Because we all want the best for our game and for our enjoyment as players. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.